Hi YouTubers, Nick's V is on the mic. Today is the 12th day of Red July 2017. The great challenge that was studied by Bill Stoppard, famous city skater from Toronto. And as you all know, I think I'm trying to support the challenge and skate every day in the July of 2017 and make videos also every day. I'm not as fast as Bill, so I'm uploading my videos only the day after the actual shooting. So for you it's 13th of July and for me it's only 12th. And I'm skating uh, through the Paris, not far away from the center of Paris, near subway station San Agustin. I'm just taking an opportunity to skate because I have to go to a French sport shop to buy some accessories for my family. So that's how the Paris looks like through the lens of some cheap action cam. Not too much people. Yeah, nice trousers as you can see. Not too much people here, it's the middle of the day, so many are on their working places and that's good for me, because skating in the crowd in Paris is rather dangerous and nervy. Yeah, there are a lot of cobblestones in uh, Paris, I think you know about it from the videos of uh, Tiaga in Line Skater, he hates cobblestones. I'm not hating cobblestones, I like different types of pavements and sometimes cobblestones are pretty fun to skate on. The district where I'm skating now is not far away from Arc de Triomphe and also not far away from Champ d'Elysée and many other sightseeing places, but Really, in the center of Paris, on skates, everything is pretty close. And then now on the Courcelles Boulevard and to my left hand is the Marceau Park. A cute area to relax in. Yeah, again some cobblestones and finally good asphalt to make some. Not sprint, but more faster skating. I hope that you are enjoying my Red July series of videos, at least some of them, because it is a rather hard challenge for me and most of the time it is because of editing, so I'm trying to do my best, but not always it is as it should be. Say hello to my upper body parts, by the way, and back again to the legs, right in time for power slide. Joggers, mom and son, very nice. I was really amazed first time when I came to Paris and saw the number of joggers that are here. They are running all the time and everywhere. You can hardly get out of office and not meet a jogger. There are also a lot of cyclists here and not too much skaters, I think. At least I would like to see more of them. But I met some. I met some inline skaters and also I met some quad skaters. That is pretty amazing for me because in St. Petersburg, my mother town, I haven't met any quad skater for a long, long time. Here, yeah, you can see that there are a lot of dead leaves on the streets of Paris and I think that's because of some very hot days that were recently. There were also some storm rains not long ago and I think you have seen them in some of my videos. But now the weather is fine and I can say it's almost perfect for city skating because it is not too hot and not too cold. It's about 
20 degrees Celsius and even if there are some rains in the mornings to the middle of the day, the rain stops and you can easily take your skates and go outside and have some fun on the streets. So many thanks to Bill again for choosing July as the day for Roll Every Day Challenge. You can see there are parking for rental bicycles on the background, so-called Villa Leap. There are a lot of such parking places here in Paris and it is very convenient, I must say. First time when I was in Paris, I was without my skates, so I took a bicycle and was also having fun in the center of Paris. There are also outer lip rental cars, but no skate lip, unfortunately. And I think that this idea will be a good startup to make a network of rental skates in some city and let people take skates in one spot of the city and leave them in another. Why not? If you are a businessman and looking for some good idea, maybe that will do for you. And now I am on the Vagram Avenue, not far away from the end point of my today's journey. That wasn't a very long flow and I thought that I make more shootings during that flow, but for some reason I just didn't turn my camera on and was skating like an idiot with a selfie stick with the not working action cam on it. So that's all. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to see other episodes of the Red July series. I hope that will be fun for you and for me also. And don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up.